Valkyria? Yes. The main reactor is fueled by a Valkyria. Each ship was assigned one. On paper, they're civilian contractors. And the one assigned to the Centurion is named Angie. Angelica Farnaby. Wait, hold on. Just what is a Valkyria? I heard they're descendants of the ancient Valkyrer, who protected this land a long time ago. I've already been told that the Empire is weaponizing them, and that the Winter Witch is one specialized for combat. But you're saying the Federation has their own Valkyria? Not even as weapons, but as living batteries? That's correct. Angelica has been... modified to act as a power source. By exposing herself to Ragnite, she can generate energy far beyond conventional compression. She alone can produce enough energy to power this entire cruiser. That's why the restricted area was so heavily guarded. You're using a human being. You locked a little girl in the reactor of a military ship. Claude, she volunteered for this. She signed a waiver agreeing that she and her life belonged to the military. There's no way that could be legitimate. On the contrary, it's a legally binding contract. Just like the one you signed when you enlisted. <sighs> it was an accident that she left the main reactor and met you all, and suffered amnesia at that. But once she remembered her duty, she returned to the main reactor of her own volition. How is this even possible? She and all the others volunteered for this initiative. They're doing whatever they can for their homeland. But uh, both the Cavalier and the Comet are gone. Indeed. Valkyria's fates are tied to their ships. They knew the risks. The immense propulsion power of the snow cruisers would be unattainable without Valkyrian support. And Operation Cygnus is impossible without these ships. This plan has been in the works for a long time. I knew it. This was already being prepared even before Operation Northern Cross. Correct. The United States of Vinland developed these ships and their tech. They are the hidden orchestrators of Cygnus. This is insane. How deep does this rabbit hole go? Are you going to abandon the mission then? Would you betray your allies just to take the moral high ground? Betray my allies? For every day we move forward on the Crystal Sea, our allies on land are retreating from the Empire. As we speak, the Federation's death toll keeps on growing. Operation Northern Cross is a lost cause. The Cygnus fleet is the only hope we have of ending this war. <laughs> and here we are, two days from the Imperial capital. Three at most, even with combat. Then, you plan on storming the enemy's capital with Angie still hooked up to the main reactor? That's correct. Claude, do you believe the captain will wake up from this? I don't know. I can only hope so. We'll need a decision. Soon. Who else could make that call without being swayed by emotion? <sighs> Please, Captain. We need you to wake up. <laughs>